Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z, and let's take a look at my brand new LEGO Super Mario set that I got, which is actually based on Super Mario Maker. And that is the LEGO Super Mario Master Adventure Maker set. This is set number 71380, it's recognized for the section up, and has a total of 366 pieces, for the price of $60 when it was released back in January of 2021, which is this year, along with the release of LEGO Luigi in the same year that came out this August, just recently. Now, just like all the other sets, LEGO Mario and LEGO Luigi does not come in this set, and the only way to get them is to get two different Star Force sets. Now, this is no ordinary expansion set. This is an expansion set that you can build and customize your very own levels for LEGO Mario, kind of like in Super Mario Maker. And not only that, it comes with an item block customizer that you can put some customizable blocks in there like items or time, but it also has a 30 second yellow pipe, which is different compared to the other one in the Run Zero Knockdown set that has some special coin count or whatever. This is definitely for like 30 seconds because we only got the green pipe from the both the Mario and the Luigi Star Courses before in green. And that has 60 seconds and compared to the Bowser's uh, Airship set, the 90 second Star Cannon in black gives you about 90 seconds. So, over on the back of the box. It shows some different shots of the set of how you could probably change some customizable blocks and some uh, pictures for like the 30 second pipe. And it does not come with the flagpole like how the Mario and the Luigi Star Courses actually did. And the only way to access the instructions is to get the Lego Super Mario app if you have an iPad or iPhone with you. Right, so let's open this box up and let's take a look inside, shall we? So opening the box up. Look at that, I didn't even need to punch the um, punch holes. Sweet, huh? So let's continue opening this. And if I set the um, camera aside. Oh, yay. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. No punch holes. Don't need to take about care about that right now. So we're pouring out the pieces. So let's separate all the bags. You get a total of six bags. A random bag with all these extra plates to make your own levels. And this instruction booklet. Like I said, you got access to them on the Lego Super Mario app. Right, so I think I'm gonna be building this set up with all these six bags, and I'll see you guys when I'm done building this. Okay, I'm back, and here's the set all built up, except with this unmarked bag filled with all of these plates. Let's take a look at all of those brick built characters. Starting off with Larry Koopa, who is actually one of the Koopalines and was exclusive to this set. Right off the bat, we got that brick built wand in his arms that kind of looks like regular Lego minifigure arms because these are Technic pin arms that kind of sit inside these Lego bricks with Technic pin holes. And at the bottom, we got a two by three feet piece in yellow. And at the top, we got a slope curve inverted brick and those T slope pieces in blue to combine with his brick build hair. And at the front, we got a one by three brick print for the eyes and a two by four round tile print for like the mouth and the teeth and a two by three tile print for his tummy. And also a one by one green brick print for the blue star on one side and the same thing with no print on the other side. 
but we also got that blue cell spiky piece, which is different, uh, yeah, pretty the same, but in different colors, like Bowser Jr.'s green cell from the Mario Star Course set, or Spiny's red cell, or Boom Boom's red cell that is found in the Series 1 character packs, or the Prime Plant Puzzling Challenge, or even the Luigi Star Course set. Right here, there is a barcode, a sticker 2x2 tile that's supplied at the factory, and if you guys don't know how the Lego Mario system works, same thing with Luigi. There's a scanner at the bottom of his feet that reads these barcodes, and if Lego Mario jumps on Larry Koopa six times, you get a couple of points out of him. But that is it for Larry Koopa, and hope to see more of the Koopalings in future Lego Mario sets. Next is this red Koopa Troopa, known as a Paratroopa, which is the same design that is from the Wiggler's Poison Swamp set. We got a 1x2 brick for the eyes at the top, which is a print, and a slope curved 1x2 brick for like the nozzles, and a round 2x2 tile for his tummy. And just like Larry Koopa, we got those Technic Pin yellow minifigure arms that fit inside those Technic Pin holes. At the bottom, we got a one by one feet piece in red. And at the back, we got a same cell piece, which is uh, how a para beetle did that from the series two character packs with those wings popping out. And there's a sticker two by two tile on the red cell. And if Legomar steps on the paratroopa uh, three times, it feels like you actually get like four points out of him. This is the same Koopa, but different in a different color in green, like the Piranha Plant Power Slide set, and also the Guard Fortress set, as far as I could tell. For bob this is the same character being used in the Series 1 character packs, as well as the Guard Fortress set, even though he's not exclusive to this set. We got a wind-up key at the back that you can turn that sits on this 2x2 two -two jumper, and at the top, we got another 2x2 two two jumper, which is for the um, round 1x1 one one stud with the bar popping out that you can put the flame inside for like a little torch or whatever. At the front, we got a 2x2 two two tile print for the eyes. And at the bottom, we got a 2x2 two two feet piece in yellow, as well as that 2x2 two two barcode at the side. And if Lego Mario jumps on the bomb multiple times while he blows up, while you don't get any coins, but if you step on the bomb multiple times before it blows up, you get to keep all of those coins. As for this Goomba, that face print, which is on a 2x2 two two tile at the front, is kind of looks like the one from the Mario Star Course set. At the bottom, we got a 2x2 two two feet piece in reddish brown at the bottom. And at the top, we got a 2x2 two two barcode that Lego Mario can jump on. And you can get one coin out of him. Now that we took a look at all of these brick ball characters, for this 30 second yellow pipe, we only got the pipe in green before from the Mario and the Luigi Star Course sets. As well as that black piece uses this, this one right there, which is a cannon from the Bowser's Airship set that gives you 90 seconds, and the yellow pipe uses these coins, which is different compared to the other one in the Renzior knockdown set, which is actually a 30 second pipe in yellow. So at the front, we got a two by two print with the 30 second at the front, and making Mario or Luigi start in these instead of the regular green pipe from the Star Core set makes these a 30 second game. One thing I noticed is that if you actually listen, there's actually a slider music from Super Mario 64. And if you start in the green pipe, you can actually get the uh, classic Super Mario Brothers music from like the NES. And for Bowser's Airship, you'll probably have the Bowser's Airship music for like um, Super Mario Brothers 3, or I suppose. <laughs> Just letting the time run out. There we go. <laughs> Not even close, I'm going to get to that flagpole on time. So, yeah, using the green pipe will get you 60 seconds, so half of the timer gives you about 60 seconds. But I'm kind of curious what happens if you actually step in the yellow pipe where, I, where you actually put the green pipe in. 
Looks like nothing happens. Probably the same thing happens too with the L pipe. Yep. Anyways, that is it for a look at the 30 second yellow pug. And now let's take a look at something else. For the item block customizer, which serves like a fun little machine, which will show you that how it works. Right in front, we've got those three customizable bricks in um, blue, uh, light blue, and um, orange. Two of them, which is those mystery blocks, and one which is a timer, which all these are different compared to the ones in the Mario Star Course set or even the Bowser's Castle set. All of these are on those two one by two bricks with both prints at the um, side. And right at the top, all of these had two by two barcodes with their tiles or stickers applied at the factory. How this works with Lego Mario or Luigi is that you can put your customizable blocks in this little machine and put place Lego Mario up there and press that button. And you can probably choose any um, item you want out from this mechanism. You can probably have star power, 10 coins, a regular mushroom, a uh, poison mushroom, and that's about it for anything you could probably choose. But I do wish there's actually a one-up mushroom that is found in the Series 3 character packs because the course build system doesn't use any lives. But, um, yeah, I get the point. Especially how you could probably create your own levels like you would in Super Mario Maker. So if you choose the item you want, release the button, remove Lego Mario from that platform, take that out by the press of the button, it'll go flying, and let's see how this works by using that way with your Lego Mario courses. Step inside the yellow pipe, choose the item you want, see that has star, and you can destroy enemy that you want with those customized blocks. Have <laughs> to store Larry Koopa with one hit in order to like customize your own levels. So that actually works while you're actually um, doing that while you're having your customizable block from now on, I suppose. So yeah, so now that we took a look at that um, one block, which is this one right there, and for this other block, if Lego Mario jumps on that other mystery uncustomizable block, it does have actually the um, same feature. So uh, actually, let me just double check. I, I think it's this. Yeah, that's the same one, but use this. Yeah, yeah, this is actually um, quite different, I suppose. Like, yeah, quite different, but no differences from now on. But if you actually use the um, timer block, put that um, inside because yeah, Put that in there for the time customizable. You can have like extra 10 seconds, um, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. But this one I absolutely love because this effect actually takes away time. So let's try that, shall we? So pop that thing out, place Lego Mario in the 30 second pipe. Grab the timer block. Oh no, I'm running out of time. <laughs> yeah, trying to get the uh, black hole off screen. <laughs> Even though the black hole is not clear with this set, and uh, yeah, it only comes in the Mario and the Luigi Star Force sets. One last thing that I want to point out is, is that instead of using the um, item block customizer, if you actually use any block with Lego um, Mario, you, this won't actually work because you actually going to be able to need the um, item block customizer because it's sort of like glitching up a little bit, I guess. As for one of those random builds with those medium nugget brick blocks at the side, you can actually place your customizable blocks in the middle in order to customize your own Lego Super Mario levels. There's one more barcode or action tile for this set, rather be this back and forth platform 
which is different compared to the other ones in the Toad's Treasure Hunt set and the Womp's Lava Trouble set. And right at the top, we got a uh, round 4x4 four four, uh, round tile with the barcode at the top, which is a big one compared to the um, other ones. This is smaller, and this is actually bigger. The smaller one is actually on Goomba, and the bigger one is actually on that 4x4 four four round plate, tile or whatever. And Flagon Mario jumps on that um, platform. It doesn't have the same music like the castle music from like the NES version of Super Mario Brothers. But this is the World 8 map music that I'm talking about, which is from the Skull Raft platform of how I'm moving back and forth from the Swamp Drop set. And you can actually move Mario back and forth on this um, platform if you want to probably get a lot of coins out of him. The only thing I don't like about this platform is because it actually collapsed easily on its own by uh, attaching these locks in order to like um, make it not more structure or whatever. That platform that I'm talking about was so loose and easily to remove and just tumble over for some reason. The only way that I fixed this from happening is to use these art slope curved 1x4 pieces or those uh, slope curve two by two pieces in order to prevent this from happening so it won't be coming loose. So here's what I did for each side. Putting these art slope curve pieces on side, which are one by fours, and see how that one is all secured in. So do the same thing on the other side. And that's how it works, by using this structure back and forth so it won't be able to get loose anymore. And now you can probably place um, Lego Mario on that platform and start to get more points so it won't get um, so loose. So, if you guys have the Lego Super Mario Master Adventure Maker set with this um, platform that's so loose, why not use the slope curved arts 1x4 pieces or the slope curved 2x2 pieces like I actually fixed up right now. It doesn't have to be which color, but the only color that I picked to match up that um, platform that goes back and forth was in light bluish gray. For some random builds from left to right, we got some little castle builds, including those circular pillars with those round three by three tiles that sit on top of those round two by two bricks, which are all in light bluish gray that Lego Mario can jump on as platforms to get to the top, as well as this uh, small section that you can probably rapid fire your enemies that is another castle platform. And for that castle platform or structure, that uh, tower thing that I'm talking about, you can actually place Larry Koopa up here like you would in on the front of the box so that Lego Mario can jump up and knock Larry Koopa over like that and step on him six times and get a couple of coins out of him. For some other random builds, right in the middle, we got those platforms with those brick brick uh, platforms for like in light brown or a uh, nugget. And then we got a cute little backdrop with the clouds and the flowers and the trees and this platform that has a flower on it and this platform, which is uh, a couple of more grassy builds. And this grass build has an, an arrow sign, which is a two by three print. And this grass platform, which is on water, which are two of them, has that yellow flower. And that transparent one by one stick allows you to put the uh, paratroopa at the bottom of his legs, right here as when he's floating above the ground. Now that we took a look at everything in this set, we got this random bag that I talked that said about that earlier, before I was filming the set, about all of these random plates in different colors, in red, green, and blue. And let's see what scores I can make with all of these plates. So here's the course that I made, and let's get this a shot by putting Lego Mario in the 30 second yellow pipe. Start the level, then step on the Goomba, ride this back and forth platform, step on that Koopa Troopa, 
Ha, <laughs> no, I got the Poison Mushroom with the same effect from the Series 2 character packs. So, we got the regular Mushroom, grab the time block, extra 15 seconds, step on the, the bomb, let's knock over Larry Koopa, drop this magic wand. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, better hurry. There we go. Beat the level and apologies for dropping Larry Koopa's wand. We got 134 coins. Not bad. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for the build of this set. Let's take a look at the instructions and then we're going to wrap up this video. Here's the instructions. And like I said, with all the LEGO Mario sets, all the instructions are found on the LEGO Super Mario app if you have an iPad or iPhone with you to scan it to the digital set collection. It serves an advertisement for these Wave 2 sets and an advertisement for the Master Adventure Maker set that we are reviewing right now, as well as an advertisement for the Series 2 Character Packs and the Wave 2 Power Packs. And then advertisement for our LEGO product feedback for a chance to win a cool LEGO prize. So anyways, that's about it for my review of the LEGO Super Mario Master Adventure Maker set, which is actually based on Super Mario Maker, if I do say so myself. <laughs> One thing that I really like about it, besides the 30 second yellow pipe and the iron block customizer thing, is those customizable blocks throughout your customizable level, how you use time and your customizable items that you could probably use them for your coin world record challenges like I'm doing right now for like 30 second timer or a couple of star powers instead of using the poison mushroom that's the same effect from the series uh, two character packs and I really hope they're going to be able to make more Koopalings in future Lego Mario sets like Icky Koopa or Roy Koopa and stuff like that. So we're all of us considered, I think I'm going to rank this set a 10 out of 10. But what do you guys think overall? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. My name is Andrew from Brick Bikes Z sign off. And if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button and then click on the bell icon to turn on notifications to, to be updated on my content when I upload a new video for you guys. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.